on vacation in the beach house. <laughs> um, so this is just an open session. I hope you guys are doing really well. I hope that everybody's enjoying springtime. Um, I've got my cards here if anybody needs. Remember, members, uh, live chats are really good for you because you can come on in and ask me whatever. Uh, members are always prioritized. If you don't know what I mean by members, I mean there's channel memberships and the channel memberships give you perks or benefits. Um, depending on your level, you get more or less. If you love the extended readings and you want access to private membership chats and other kinds of discounts and participation in the abundant share, which is where you get paid for what you give, then you got to join the BWOB membership and all those channel memberships. You could just, Hey, good morning. All those channel memberships. You could just go to the front page of my channel and hit join and be sure to scroll through to see which membership you want. There's three levels. There's courage, harmony, and BWOB. Um, courage is the 399. Uh, harmony is the 999 and BWOB is the 1499. If you see these prices as different, it is because you're on Macintosh iOS and or you're going through uh, iTunes to purchase it and it automatically raises the price. That does not go to me. You're paying iTunes, Apple extra every single month. So if you can, be sure that you're not going through iTunes because you shouldn't be paying that elevated price. I think if you go through iTunes, the BWOB membership is $19.99 and the Harmony is $12.99. And then I think the um, Courage is $5.99. Those are inaccurate prices. That's not what I'm charging. That's not what YouTube's charging. That's what iTunes is charging. So so be sure that you don't go. Uh, like I have a Macintosh computer and it, it's the normal, it's the regular prices because it's not hooked up through iTunes. So just don't go through iTunes. Um, but if you really do like, what's up guys? Good morning. To, I'm very, very good, my friend. I'm very, very good, Unique. I'm happy to have you. What's up, Vicky? I hope that you sign up. Thank you, Vicky. I'm, I, I'm grateful. Um, I think a lot of people don't, like, I think they sign up and they think, oh, I'm signed up. Why aren't, why aren't I? I get this question a lot in the comment section. I'm signed up for the membership. Why, are, why don't I have access to the extended readings? Well, the extended readings, you will have access only if you are a BWOB member. That's the $14.99 a month. Now, that includes a lot of wonderful things that I just went over, but that's the one you have to be signed up for if you want access to those extended readings. So be sure to sign up for that. We also, for the BWOB members, we have, um, we have uh, the Abundant Share coming up on the 20th of June. The Abundant Share is almost a raffle where basically I give you back money. So however many uh, BWOB members we have, that's, that's the, that's the, um, that's the um, number, the, the, the number of the pot. So I think we have about 65 now. We had 50 on the first one. So the pot would be 65 to everybody who wins. And, um, if it's higher, it's higher. If we have a thousand members by then, which is my goal, then it's a thousand dollars to each person. So that's that could be a huge benefit to you at a time when I don't know, it's just serendipitous to your life and you need that to come into you. And it's like it just keeps going up from there. So it's the more we have, the more I give. And that's what abundant share is about. And that's the BWOB membership. What's up, Nancy P? Good morning. Good morning to you. What's up, Paris Jade? Good morning all from England. I'm so glad that you guys are on. Maybe this is a good time for for my European my European crew because it's a little bit later in the day for you guys. It's kind of still early over here. It's Saturday morning. Most people don't get up at 9, so I get it. I'm like, what's wrong with me? Good morning, Martha. Good morning, Guided Gift. Good morning to you all. So I just wanted to like talk shop with you guys a little bit. We also have the BWOB members only chat that's happening on Monday morning at 7.30. That's already scheduled. So you guys can sign up for that. And then, then you'll get alerted when I when I sign on. It's for 7.30 this coming Monday. And that's sort of what it, where it will be the whole time. So you'll know. And I know for like my California crew, that's a little early. That's like 6.30 maybe, 6.30, 5.30, that's early. Um, so I know it's early for some people, but it's also a really good time for others. And I'm trying to find the, the right time, but from now on, I will always create the premiere 
so you guys will know exactly when I go live. That's very important to me that you guys are there. Hello in Australia at 9.40 p.m. God bless. Well, I hope you did. You had enjoyed your Saturday. And I'm so glad you're here with me at the end of your day. Hello, Wild Moonflower. God bless. Hello from Australia. What's up, Manny? What's up, Mandy? What's up? Are you going to do a video about Jupiter and Uranus? It, okay, that's a good idea. And the answer, Vicky, will be, I've been talking about Jupiter and Uranus. Um, I'm doing a lot of videos over on Astrology Motivation. If you guys don't know, I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation where I dig into astrology. It's not tarot. So, yes, Vicki, I will do a video on Jupiter and Uranus. I mean, because I've been talking about it because the truth is it's been conjunct for the past month. It's not in perfect mm -hmm. conjunction yet, but it has been conjunct for the past month. Um, and it's honestly a lot, it, the energy is a lot trickier, especially because it's in Taurus and Taurus doesn't like to move, and Uranus and Jupiter both like to move and expand. And so it's a tough energy to understand, and I will absolutely do a video all about it. Mm -hmm. It will be over on Astrology Motivation. So, well, Vicki, it's okay because they're, they're, you'll see the recent videos I've been posting since, I've been posting for the past two months. Um, You'll see this in a tagline, part of it is Jupiter and Uranus. So there's videos, they're about 45 minutes to an hour long, and Jupiter and Uranus is all about, is, is in there. Um, but I will do, I'll call it out, if it because it is special, so I'll call it out and I'll discuss it. That will be on Astrology Motivation. So if you guys are not uh, subscribed and... Um, if you're not subscribed and, and go right now, subscribe and motiv uh, subscribe and sign up for notifications on Astrology Motivation. That's my second YouTube channel. It's easy to find that. You just go to the front of this YouTube channel, you know, my, my channel header, and you'll see that there are other channels that I own, that I have, that I constantly am posting on, and go and subscribe. Um, it's easy enough, and then and then you'll get the notification. But certainly, Vicki, that's a great idea. Good morning to you, Margaret. God bless. Hello, Dawn. God bless. I actually just finished the Taurus reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I think that you'll know, know, realize that my readings are very, very different than other tarot card readers. I am very different than other tarot card readers. Uh, and yeah, yeah, blunt is a good, good word for me. But I also think motivational and and aspirational, aspirational in that I always look upward and. I don't like to get stuck in the in the stuff, and I will talk about the stuff, but I don't, like, that's not your life. That's not your potential. You've got so much more to look forward to than a crappy ex that you should have gotten over a year ago or a job that didn't respect or appreciate you. It's like you've got so much more going on, and so I don't like to, to get stuck in it. I like to also provide advice or helpful hints. You know, you'll, you'll notice that I ask the cards. I don't just ask the cards what's going on. I ask you know, God, what can they do about it? Like, how can they make the situation better? And so my videos will always not only offer insights into what's going on, they'll offer suggestions for how to make it better. What's up, Casglow? God bless. I missed you. I missed you. What's up, Tina? I got some members on. God bless. I don't think I've been getting notifications. That's another thing. And thank you once again, Vicki, for helping out because... I have 123,000 subscribers now, almost 124,000, and nobody's getting notifications. My, I don't know what's going on with my Scorpio tribe, but I mean, Scorpio videos were well over 15,000 views each, and now they're, it's hard for them to reach five. And with 123,000 subscribers, what's going on? Nobody's getting their notifications. So please check to see that I know that you think you're subscribed and I know that you think you've got that notification bell wrong, but when YouTube does its updates, everything gets tossed in the air and crashed down in a mess. So you may not be getting notifications anymore. So what I would do first and foremost is I would go to the front page of my YouTube channel and I would make sure that A, I'm subscribed and B, that bell has been rung and it's all notifications are selected. Um, because I don't think a lot of people are getting notified. And then you can find the the uh, Astrology Motivation link 
and uh, or you can just add astrology motivation on YouTube and you can go subscribe there as well and you'll get those notifications for those astrology updates and then um, you can also join the BWOB membership so whatever membership you choose I have a new phone and my membership is on the old one so I don't get these notifications anymore yeah go check because you're you're so Tina your membership should be linked to your account not your phone so unless you signed up see I mean I see that you're a member so it's clearly registering that you are a member so it knows you're a member but just go check to see if the notifications are on because they may not be they may not be because the only thing that that would do Tina would be it would sign you out of your account and you'd have to sign back in because it's the account that it's linked to not the specific phone but our phone saves our account information and automatically logs us in and when we get a new phone that all falls apart <laughs> so we don't we aren't logged in where we thought we were logged in anymore so you are logged in it is registering that you are a member so you've got that taken care of did you re did you mind asking what a uh, camera you're using now hey Casglow, I'm so happy that you're on I missed you guys I am using the camera for my 24 ultra um, galaxy phone I got a new phone I had to upgrade my because my Apple phone my iPhone the sound wasn't working anymore you knew that sound wasn't working because for two years people had been complaining that sound wasn't working and it was my iPhone the sound wasn't working I tried to get a microphone the microphone was still weird so um, I'm using my new phone I always use my phone I know five years on YouTube I should get a real camera but I really should um, but I'm using my my iPhone I'm sorry I'm using the um, the phone camera for my Galaxy 24 Ultra you hold up a mirror to us and call us out. oh thanks Queen that is a that is flattering for me I'm, I'm glad and you know and you know that's just a way that we all learn you know any members any members sign up on the computer no tap thank you Nancy yes so Nancy went through this we actually we were able to work through it together and she helped me out a lot it was Nancy and there was one more I forget I forget her name both of you guys had called that out and bought attention to how iTunes charges you more so look at what Nancy just wrote any memberships for the BWOB should be $14.99 that's what I charge that's what YouTube is charging the increased fee for $19.99 is coming from iTunes and believe me I'm not getting any of it so you're just paying iTunes which is a multi-trillion dollar company they don't fucking need it they don't need it they don't need it so don't 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 do it I would I would go sign up I think Nancy found her old PC and was able to sign up I think I mean you just you just have to avoid iTunes and sometimes our computers or our phones especially if we have an iPhone is linked directly to iTunes and we don't realize it so I would go on to a computer a desktop a laptop they're not automatically linked up to iTunes even if they are a Macintosh because I have an Apple computer it is not linked up to iTunes so I see the regular prices I see the regular prices on my computer but then I see the elevated prices on my own old iPhone this phone is not an iPhone it's not attached to iTunes so it doesn't have those prices it's really sleazy you know what's sleazy about it I don't even mind that they're they can charge whatever they want they're a company they can charge but they don't even tell you like ask Nancy we had to do so much digging just to find out that that's what was happening like they don't tell you they don't itemize they don't say hey this is the iTunes charge and this is the born without boundaries charge they don't they lump it all in so you don't know that's very underhanded it's very it's deceitful it's just plain old deceitful because you think it's you think it's the creator or the platform that's charging you it's not it's them it's very like item all I'm saying is be honest and be transparent itemize if you want to charge for people using iTunes then tell them you're getting this fee because it's through but they don't because they want to charge you and I think that's really disgusting and underhanded from a multi-trillion dollar company that honestly doesn't need the extra three bucks out of your pocket a month I think it's really that they can't even upfront tell you that that's what's going on how how long did we have to dig Nancy it was disgusting 
You use my old, you use your old phone. I have no accounts on the new one. Well, the accounts are on the platform, Tina. The accounts are on the platform. The phone just memorizes the account sign-ins. So it's got nothing to do with the phone. It's got to do with the platform. So if you changed phones, what you'd have to do is just make sure you're into your account, which you are. I see iPhone. I think iPhone sucks too. You'll see that you're, you're on Tina and then, um, and then it should be fine. You're definitely logged in as a member. I can see you as a member. I agree that, that I did not enjoy working on an iPhone. I did not agree. I, I did not enjoy it at all. Um, the camera I felt sucked and the, clearly the sound was horrible. <laughs> um, but really what I had a problem was, was the upcharges just because it's an iPhone. And I, I mean, it's more expensive to begin with. So to add even more, and that this is the thing we're, we're a free capital country. That's fine. You charge whatever the fuck you want, whatever you can get for it, you charge it. But let people know where the charges are coming from. Be transparent about the charges. Don't say it's, oh, Michelle's charging $19.99 to some people and $14.99 to others. Because Michelle is not doing that. And YouTube is not doing that. But YouTube is enabling iTunes to do it. And that's subverted. That, that's, that's underhanded, too. It's just wrong. I ju it's just it's just immoral and wrong and it, it doesn't you don't have to have you know let people know that they should have a choice because they should have a choice they should have a choice if I oh if I don't go through iTunes I pay four dollars less a month I pay three dollars less a month yeah 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 because it's not a flat fee for using iTunes they're taking a percentage they're taking a percentage you know they're saying they're saying that my uh, courage membership is $4.99 instead of $3.99. So that's a dollar extra they charge on the Courage membership. But on the Harmony membership, they're saying it's $12.99 instead of $9.99. So that's $3 extra they're taking on the Harmony. So they're basing it on the price. It's like a, it's like they're taking like a third of the price and they're tagging it on to make extra for themselves. And it's really gross. I just think it's gross. I just think it's gross. Like, let's just so underhanded, so don't do that. All the accounts on the new one has been deleted. Okay, good. I'm good. Oh, cool, cool. I got notified when you went live, not beforehand or upcoming. The upcoming isn't for this one, Nancy. The premiere would have been... The premiere you should have gotten notified on. The premiere is listed on my channel. The premiere is for the members only, um, the members only live chat that's coming up members only live chat is coming up on monday this coming monday at 7 30 a.m my time so um that's a uh, central time here in austin so uh so now you all know if you're a member and if you if you want to join in you have to be an either harmony or bwob member and honestly if you're a harmony member i would just become a bwob member because it's only a few dollars extra a month and you get so much more so definitely do that. And if you're a Courage member, consider upgrading to the BWOB membership. I know I have about 80 Courage members. I would love for all of you guys to become BWOB members because then you get this. Now, let, let's talk about what happens in the members-only live chats because I think magic happens in the members-only live chats. We get such a – we just get such a – it's just such a tight-knit – kismet kind of energy that is so supportive and it's it's oh it's, that's almost what it is it's almost like a support group just to powwow with each other and remember who the fuck we are and give each other suggestions and so it really becomes this intimate group setting that we can't have with the public lives and it's it's such a beautiful space and so i want to nurture that and hopefully the more members we have the more live chats i can have um that's really important to me. And if you need a deep dive into an issue that you're having, I am open right now. I have so much availability in my personal readings. Go, go. There's so many different tiers of personal readings too. So you don't have to get the most expensive one, but there is a new service that I'm offering in the personal readings where there is live time with me, where we can spend an hour chatting after the reading's been done. 
I don't do live readings. Like I don't do li like live chat readings. I do live readings here, but um, my readings are a deep dive into your astrology chart and the questions you ask me. And then the new service that I've added, you'll see that in addition to um, your, your, so in addition to the one, the first video I make you, the follow-up, because you always get a follow-up with me in my personal readings, but this follow-up is like a live chat with me. Um, so you get, a, like just, you just get more of my time and personal attention. So there's a lot of different options over in the personal readings. And I hope that you guys will, I hope that you guys will, Use them if you need them. Use them because they're there. They're available. Uh, Vicky, I had a major breakthrough. I'm. You're not a victim. No, I used to play the victim. Well, it's it's very much encouraged today. How could I be a victim if my own choices put me where I was? And there you go. You know, came to twenty one dollars. That's horrible, Nancy. Fucking horrible couldn't access any customers you can't they don't there's no customer service itunes charges 30 percent on everything that's disgusting is that disgusting Vicky? hey tp current job offer for another contract like after a month i didn't even see this i didn't get notified hi tp current job contract current job Current job offer me another contract after a month. Let's see. It looks like it's all good to go. It looks like it's all good to go. With those three heavy hitting, it seems like it's going to happen. I would wait till we get into Taurus season, though. Not during Aries season. But that starts April 21st. We're almost there. And then you'll be at a Mercury retrograde too, TP. Question. Uh, I have a question. I have applied for a new job. Will I get an interview? I really want to leave my current job yet. It's time for you to leave your, your current job. And I think you will get an interview. I think getting the actual job will take a little longer than you think. But inevitably, it will work out. It's, it is time for you to jump, Tina. That's confirmation. There is some consideration here, and this is also a reminder of Mercury retrograde that nobody's making fast decisions right now, so don't take that personally. But you will eventually be successful after after some time. Now, with this, it could mean it could take you up to a year to get a new position, but it could also just mean that it might you have to might wait wait till Leo season, which is not that far away. Either way, you will get a new position. You should start applying now. It is a good idea. I wouldn't say leave your job, but I would say start applying to new work now. It is going to take you longer than you think is, is what that hangman does assure me. So it may not be exactly 12 months out. It may be around Leo season, which is not that far away, but inevitably it will still feel like longer because you've probably waited so long already before making the decision, even though you've probably been feeling it for a while. So it is definitely time to get at it. Authors read too. What's up? I'm so happy to have you here. Oh my gosh. It is so great to have you here. Vicky, YouTube, who was who told me that iTunes charges? Okay, at least they were up front. At least they were up front. Finally, finally. I remember that from a from a live i'll check notifications thank you hey what's up attila god bless you for all your love and support i'm so grateful for you every day yeah i miss those chats but i will be back monday i'm so glad vicky we miss you too my current job ends in a month so yeah i think you will get that contract it looks like it will be renewed or you'll have something else following it up so that's a good time that's a good time to that's a good time to move forward tp Keep huh? Keep what is it ship ship rock i have been cheated in a relationship earlier when will i get a healthy love relationship i'm from india let me tell you something if you've been cheated on i'll tell i'll say this to you right now 
if you've been cheated on and you're still, it's still, I'm searching, I'm searching, I'm searching for this healthy love relationship. The reason why we search for healthy relationships outside of ourselves is because we don't have one with ourselves. Because when we have a healthy relationship with ourselves, we don't search outwardly for what we're missing because we're not missing anything. So I can tell you this right now. What you need to do, Shiprock, is you need to look for a healthy relationship with you. You need to take some time to just get happy. Because if you keep searching for happiness outside of yourself, you will never be happy and you will always be attracted to the next person who's willing to take you. And that doesn't mean that they're willing to love you. Right? In fact, people who are kind of toxic can smell desperation on you from a mile away. So be sure that you're clean of it. And right now it doesn't sound like you are. It sounds like you're desperate for something new because what you have in yourself is not making you happy and you have to stop that. That's where the healing has to start. And so no amount of cards that I pull is going to give you that. The truth is you need to do that deep work on who you are so that you do not look for love anymore. And then you will be surprised that it comes to you. Now, this is an easy work. Happy birthday, Doug Denny. It doesn't just come. It doesn't just happen. It could take years, but aren't you worth it? Aren't you worth those years of investment, of telling yourself, I love you? Why aren't you worth that? Why would you instead take that energy that you have inside yourself and go search for somebody else to give it to? If you're searching for love, and I'm going to say this to anybody who's just asked me a love question. If you're searching for love, it's because you do not feel it inside of yourself. Because people who feel it inside themselves do not search for it. And that's where you have to start if you want a healthy relationship. You have to start with healing you. It's, it's, it's just a must. There's nothing in the cards that can tell you anything else because that's the truth of it. Hi, ATD, what's up? I'm moving soon. Will everything go as planned? I'm moving soon. Will everything go as planned? Yeah, I think it'll go really quite nicely. I think you made a good judgment, and things should go pretty steady and evenly. The justice card is here, and so is the judgment card, saying that the choice was correct, everything's on the up and up, and things should go pretty evenly. Let me see if, just say, could you tell me, what's up, K's Capricorn Chronicles? God bless you. Could you tell me what I should do about the situation with my mother-in-law? I think there's a lot of work that has to be done here because it seems like she wants to be a part of the relationship. Um, I don't think it's beyond repair, but ultimately, what did you get? You got the death card. You got the empress, which would recommend the mother. She takes things to extreme, and she's probably very subverted and deceptive. With Virgo here, too, it implies that she likes to get into your, the, your business, and the lovers is here. So ultimately, you guys have to stay strong on your front, um, and then... What, what this kind of person hates the most is direct confrontation. So what I would do is I would make her get on the up and up because there is some subverted, I don't want to say shady, but definitely like prying that's been going on here. So what you need to do is confront her on it. There is still room for healing this situation, but ultimately the toxicity has to be brought to the surface you do have room for healing. Make sure that the two of you do this together. Don't do it by yourself. Make sure it's a combined unit or a combined front by you and your significant other because that will keep the two of you strong and won't let any of this situation that's going on with her. She may be hiding something about herself. There is some toxicity there. I mean, I don't know if it's toxic in her mind or in her body. I don't know what's going on, but it's definitely something that's been going on there. And I think bringing it to the surface 
the two of you together is what needs to happen. Just see if I got any more. The new job starts in September. Yay, Tina. Well, congratulations. They're lucky to have you. Let me just see if I got any more members that have asked questions. I'm scrolling for members, guys, because members always get precedence. Um, all members. That's Harmony through BWOB. Um, I'm sorry. I mean, that's Courage through BWOB. But don't become a Courage member and expect to get access to the members-only live chat or the, you're welcome ATD, um, or the extended readings, because that, I just don't want you to have that expectation. You're welcome, Kay. What's up, Nancy? Sh thank you, Nancy. Yes, Shiprock, absolutely. In which month? Yeah, so Ship Shiprock, if you want to ask multiple questions, then you sign up for the BWOB membership and you get on the members only live chat because then you can ask multiple questions here. It's just one question, even for members. It's just one question. Okay. So we don't have any more. We don't have any, we don't have any more members. I think let me scroll and see. Thank you, TP, also for that donation. I appreciate it. <laughs> if you send in a donation, I will definitely get you a question as well. Everybody else, I can't. I don't know. So, Kasturi, I've been giving general advice for, for your uh, spiritual growth. I've been giving advice maybe to other people, but if you listen and it resonates with you, then it's for you as well. So... Don't, don't think that it's not for you just because it has somebody else's name on it. It's for you if it resonates with you. That's it. That's it. And I, I mean, I think the general advice that I give, gave Shiprock goes for everybody, 100%. So many people, especially in the tarot world, like when, when I do tarot, not so much in astrology, but when I, the, the tarot community really, really gloms on to this idea of when am I going to meet this person or how, when am I going to stop having bad relationships, you know? And it's like that all has, thank you so much, Wild Moon, for your donation. I appreciate you. Um, that all has to do with you're searching for love outside you and you're not searching for love inside you. You're not searching. Yeah. And if you're searching for love outside of you, you're searching for love in all the wrong places. And and you have to think about, you have to think about this. You can't think about, I need help. You have to think about, I deserve help. You know, that's the thing. I deserve help. Like, let's frame it in a different way. I deserve help. I deserve to get healthy. I deserve to be in a place where I wake up in, a, in the morning and I don't think, am I going to meet somebody special today? Because I have somebody special today. I look in the mirror. That's not narcissism. That's appreciating what God gave you and the experience that you're in. So wild moon flower, let's get to your question. Thank you so much for your donation. By the way, I really appreciate you. What will come, what will come from this upcoming convo between me and the Capricorn? We are friends, but I think there's something else going on for them. What will come? Why, this is for wildflower. The conversation has to happen. And this suggests wildflower, wild moonflower, that you should be direct with them. It, it suggests that you should be direct. There is room for it to work out. In fact, the conversation is going to help you work things out. And Queen of Swords means that there is a way forward. So what this is saying, Wild Moonflower, is have a conversation with them. Be respectful and direct. You will be able to work it out and you will have a future beyond that. Whatever that future is, you will find a, a friendly resolution. But you have to be direct. And you should initiate. I love that question. Um, is something else going on? It does not confirm. So that could mean two things. Either no, there's nothing else going on for them, or that the more important thing is that you learn how to have these conversations. 
because that's what this is really about. It's not about your relationship or what they feel. It's about helping you understand that you have a right to ask the, the hard questions and empower yourself to do so to regain that comfort inside of who you are. Like that's what it's saying. So have the conversation. It's important. And that's a really great question. Thank you so much for your donation. I got another a donation from Angie and I want to call you out. Thank you so much. God bless Angie. Love reading and Fazal and I. So you know what I always say, Angie? Love reading on Fazal and I. I always say, if you got to ask, you got to ask. The answer is no, but let's see. There is some uh, moon card here. There is some hidden emotions or feelings or moving forward maybe in a delusional sense. Um, there is walking away from what doesn't fulfill you, somebody who is very defensive and guarded and too many burdens. So this doesn't feel, <coughs> bless you, Bridget, there doesn't feel like a love match here. Or if there was, it's become too burdensome and somebody wants to get out of it. They just can't figure a way out. So I hope that it's like somebody, it's almost like somebody is planning on getting away from the other one. That's what it is because you got the moon card and you got the chariot sitting right next to each other. So intuitively, you're probably picking up on the fact that there's distance and there is distance. This confirms it. Somebody wants to move on. Somebody wants to get away or somebody is already checked out even if they are in the relationship and then, but they don't want people to know they're it's guarded and it's become a very heavy burden. The only other thing I could think of for this would be if it's they're with somebody else right now. And they're creeping with you. They're thinking of leaving the other person or you're thinking of leaving your person. And I don't encourage those relationships either because that's toxic. And that's already demonstrating that if you can't be honest with yourself in your current relationship, what are you bringing into the new one? But there is definitely somebody here that wants to get out or move away. It's become too heavy for them, but they're hiding it and they're keeping it to themselves. Just an FYI. I hope that made everything clear, Angie. And thank you so much for your donation. I appreciate you and your contribution to the channel. So God bless. Holly, what's up? Thank you for your donation, Holly. Just want to say thank you for that. Going to give you a little heart and a like there. Um, so God bless you for your donation. What do you see coming up for me? Life is changing and I'm one of loss. Life is changing. So what's coming up for Holly? This is a very transitional time for a lot of people. So I want you to take a deep breath and know that change, though while we can see it as bad, it we need to rock the boat sometime. Change is life. Remember that. So you have an absolute ending coming. You have an absolute ending, but it's extreme sensuality that has been sort of hanging on for a while. And then you have the strength card. I don't think you know your own strength right now. What these cards are showing me, Holly, is that you're almost afraid of all the energy and capabilities that you have inside of you. And with the time and the time that you're spending now in this transitional period is to help you develop the strength so that you can actually fulfill your complete potential. Okay. Um, the death card is here. So there could be some ending or change to a relationship with a maternal figure that could have been hanging in the air for a while. Um, but ultimately there's a sense of this passage of time. It could be up to the next year. Um, where you are gaining or things are getting strong again. So there is a healing period in this transitional period. And that's what's coming out for you. It's really a period in your life because this is change. This is what change is about. This is you have to let things be done. You have to let things end and finish. So there's something in your life that you're still holding on to that is holding you back. Because if you let it be, if you let it die, not a person, but if you let the situation end, then on the other side of that is prosperity. But right now you're like hanging on, right? Or you're trying to hang on to understand your own strength. But it's 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 easily saying that once you're allowed uh, gonna once you're willing to allow things to completely be gone, let go, 
you're going to see yourself on the other side of this transitional period. And don't rush yourself. Maybe you're just not ready to let go yet. To be honest with you, you sometimes it just takes time. Remember, if you like to ask multiple questions, you know, you need to ask more than one question. I have personal readings that are available at any time. You guys can go to my website and register for one of those. Hello, Nathan Weber. God bless you for your membership. Um, or you can join the BWOB membership and get on the members live chat. And um, then you can ask multiple questions as well. New member. Thank you. Thank you, Nathan. Um, should I try to go back to school or get work in a new AI field to learn it? Thank you. Should I go back new? It's new. It's new. With the page of cups, it's sort of something brand new. Yeah. It's something brand new, something that you've always like been interested in and you should let yourself focus on it. It's, it's really not just your interest because with the star card, it's not just your passion, right? It's, it's, it intrigues you, you know, it's aspirational. So it's time to sort of level up, I think is what it's saying. And you'll be happy that you did. Um, it's, but it's definitely in something new. You'll be happy that you chose it. Good question, Nathan. Excellent. All oh, these are great questions. Let me just see if there's another. Hey, Tina. I'm thankful for you, Tina. God bless. Did we ever talk about your... You're welcome, Nathan. Tina, didn't you go to a concert? Weren't you scheduled to go to a concert? Wasn't it in Copenhagen or something like that? We can talk about it on the members live chat, but I remember that you said that you were scheduled to go see a, a concert that I thought was so cool. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. So going back through all these questions... And thank you, everybody, for your donations. God bless you. That helps the channel more than you realize, and I'm grateful for you. Um, the, the reason why members get priority is because they basically give agree to give a monthly donation. Like, that's what they're doing. That's pretty much what they're doing is giving a monthly donation. So they've already given their donation, right? They don't, they don't need to give more. Um, but I'm really grateful for that. I appreciate it. Scrolling through. I hope I've answered your questions. Um, remember, guys, that we do have on June 20th, if you just got on, we on June 20th, we have the um, BWOB Abundance Share coming up. I still I still have like the $50 prizes for, for Mama and Ashley, but they never got back to me with their payment information. If you choose, I mean, thank you guys so much if you choose to not accept your payment, but it's not a payment. It's the abundance share. So the concept behind abundance share is that in participating in the BWOB membership, you're building up abundance for everybody, not just my channel, but for everybody, including you. It's like, it's like stone soup. So if you put a little bit in, you could get a lot out because all of us are putting a little in and we all put a little in, it adds and adds and adds and the pot grows. And that's really what the abundance share is about. So please do send me your information. You get payments through Venmo, Zelle, or PayPal. So there's three different ways that all, usually most people have one of those three that you can get um, your abundance share, your little piece of the stone soup that we're putting together at the BWOB membership. So if you want to participate, sign up for the BWOB membership. That's the one that also gets you access to all of the extended readings. It gets you priority chats. It gets you members only live chats. And eventually it'll get you discounts on um, merchandise and other services like personal services. So I mean, we're just building out the BWOB membership like crazy right now. And so I hope, I hope everybody joins. Like I said, my goal is a thousand members and we're at 65 right now. <laughs> so, uh, there's a way to go. Yeah, there's a little bit of way to go, <laughs> but you know, you got to start somewhere. I almost just knocked my contact lens out of my eye. All right, my friends. All right, all right, all right. Ah, oh, thank you so much for the smiley faces, guys. I see a lot of people, maybe new people are getting on. What is, what is member content like? So Jay, that is a really good question and I appreciate it. 
the member content is so when you're a BWOB member, if you if you follow me on Instagram, you follow me on TikTok, you follow me on Facebook. I do a lot of astrology. I do a lot of tarot content. I produce it all the time, but I don't do a lot of personal content. I don't like to share my private life with people. The BWOB membership gives you unlimited access to exclusive content. I don't share anywhere else, which would be like, 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 like videos that I've taken on vacation or in more, in more private moments of my life. Um, you know, it, it, it is stuff that other people share online, but I don't normally. So it's exclusive content that you get just with a BWOB membership. And then you also get the extended readings. Now the extended readings aren't exclusive content because you can get, you can purchase them on Vimeo or you can purchase them on my website. You can purchase them for like $10 a rental for each video or $11 for each purchase of a video. But when you purchase the BWOB membership, you get unlimited access to all of those extended readings. And that's over 3000 readings that I've done that are extended readings. And they're exceptional deep dives into the energy that we begin with on YouTube. And it breaks everything down into romance, money, career, and love and relationships, which can, can include family or romance, either way. And so they're very specific, they're very detailed, and they're very personal in themselves. And so if you're a BWOB member, you get unlimited access to all of that too. So that's over 3,000 videos that you get access to for $14.99 a month for all of them that most people have to pay $10 per video for. That's huge. That's an extraordinary library of content that you, you, you pay one monthly fee to access. Plus you're accessing the exclusive content. Plus you're asking, you're accessing the members only live chats where like here, there's one question per person. But there, you can just keep asking the questions, right? It's just like, it's, it's more of an, it just, it's just more of an intimate setting. So I have time to do that. And you have the safe space to open up. And that's why it's gated, not only for exclusivity, but also for safe space, you know, so you don't have to just, you know, be so intimidated in public. This can be seen by thousands of people by members only. That's not going to happen. So, well, maybe it will happen someday. I mean, maybe we'll have that many members someday, in which case I, if we have that many members, I'll probably be doing a members only live chat every single, not every day, but multiple times a week. So, um, and then we're just going to build out from there. So you really get unlimited access to everything that is born without boundaries, not just on this channel, but every channel. So, it's so worth it. It's so worth it. And I, I want to say thank you for asking that question because there's so much there that I'm, I'm, I'm proud of it. And I'm glad to share what it is and have the opportunity to talk to you about it. Thank you, Marcel. Time to move on or wait for a promotion. Is this part of a, a conversation? Um, so once again, we, we will not allow harassment or bullying, right? And uh, that it's easy enough for me to do. What's up, Tree? That's okay, I'm taking care of them. Oh, thanks, Tree. What's that? Yeah, I got people on here, so no one can fuck with me, okay? <laughs> like, don't. But it's easy enough. Like, if we, if, like, this is not a troll space. Right. That's not that's not what this is. And and so if there are trolls, they're so easy to get rid of. I I can't believe people waste their time doing it anymore because you're so easy to get rid of. Like YouTube has really done a great job in being able to report you and just get rid of you <laughs> like, like like the garbage you are. So sorry, if you want to act like that, you get disposed of. Done. Thank you, Nancy. And thank you, Teresa, for that. I appreciate it. Biscuits and gravy. Oh, biscuits and gravy. Dude, I'm going to have to get off soon. 
Um, I'm gonna have to get off soon. So what I'm doing right now is I'm scrolling through. You'll see other comments. Other so other comments, so other questions that have been asked, not from a member or that have not provided a donation, I will try to get back to, but I start from the beginning. It's like you go into a line <laughs> and I have to see like all the way back, like where where you are. I, I did answer Shiprock. I did answer Kasturi. And biscuits and gravy are about to be done, guys. So I'm about to... Yeah. What's up, Kenzie? Hi. I love that name, too. Kenzie, that's such a sweet name. Dream. Okay, Dream. How are you, sweetheart? What's coming to me in love? Once again, this is a love question. So what I always ask is that you think, did you look in the mirror today and remind yourself that your love and that your life, your life is proof of how much you are loved because it is, it is only in an act of faith in your value that you are born and that God puts a soul in you. So just the fact that you're alive is an act of love and faith in your value. So remind yourself of that. Oh, this is in reverse. Why are these two in reverse? There's some hidden stuff here. Okay, so this is what's coming. This card is actually good in reverse because what it says is you're going to be able to get over a disappointment. What are you going to be able to get a disappointment in? There was a shady person in your life that was doing some subverted things that were not uh, on the up and up. Or somebody chose to be isolated and alone. So there's this sense of whoever chose to be isolated and alone or leave you. Or if you felt isolated and alone, the disappointment is, is December. It's, it's, it's going away. You're not going to feel so alone or you're not going to feel so left alone or abandoned anymore. That's actually healing. Or you're finally going to be able to get over somebody that made you feel this way. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it's saying. Member, did we just get a new member? Uh, Katarina, thank you for joining the Courage membership. God bless you, sweetheart. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. I appreciate you. Um, we got a few more minutes. So thank you for coming. Remember, CC. Hey, Michelle. What's up, CC? How you doing, sweetie? Remember, if I don't answer your question when you're on, you can always log off and log log back in again. And if I've answered your question, it'll be there. For the members on the members only live chats, always. A lot of times, since it's early in the morning, people will leave me questions. They'll be like, Michelle, can you just answer this for me? And I will answer it, and then they can play it when they get back home from work. And the answer will be there. It will always be there because you'll always have access to it as long as you're a member. So just an FYI. That's always an option. Hey, CC, will I get a new job soon? I'm trying and unsuccessful. I've now lost confidence. I'm so sorry. First of all, you are not alone. There are so many people in this position with you right now. And let me say this. We are in a Mercury retrograde. I hate to bring out the astrology, but this is a Mercury retrograde that is conjunct to Chiron, which means it is slow and lethargic to teach us lessons. So I, don't even take it personally, Cece, especially not for the next two weeks because Mercury retrograde ends on April 25th. And then you still got about a week of its shadow period to whiplash you. So for the next three weeks, if you don't see much motion in progress, that's okay. You really don't want to take a new job during Mercury retrograde anyway. I'm just saying. Um, so I would say what you should do during Mercury retrograde is, especially for a job, is start to uh, research what you actually want. Because a lot of times when we're job searching, especially, or when we're searching for love, we get desperate. And we're like, oh, I'll take anybody that responds. And that's not what you want to do. 
with Mercury retrograde conjunct Chiron. That's not what you want to do. It means you, you're too willing to compromise who you are because it's happening in Aries, which is the house of self. You're too willing to compromise who you are because you're scared. And that's what Chiron's trying to teach you how to face fear and not, and be strong in its presence. So you're going to be, you're going to be afraid, but what you should do to use this energy productive, because yes, you absolutely can use retrograde and chironic energy productively is you should dig in and say, okay, what do I really like though? And am I really, really looking at jobs that I know I'd be great at, or I feel really good about, or am I acting in desperation? And where other, where are other parts of my life that I act in desperation to? And where have I settled because of it? And that's going to bring that up too. And you should sit with it and you should look at it. And when you're going out for a job, when you're looking for jobs now, be picky and read, like really pay attention to what they're asking you to do. Because during Mercury retrograde, the thing that can happen with new jobs is they don't tell you everything or they slip things in after you've taken the job or they weren't on the up and up or clear in the job description or during the interviews. And that's not what you want. So you want to take time to look about what, what you really like, what you re what really inspires you and only apply for those positions. And when you do ask questions like you're interviewing them, I'm saying all this because I did pick a card for you, Cece, and that's what you got. And this is the magician, which means you do have all the power. You have all the power and you have all the ability to make, to make this in your image, to make something for yourself. And so really, this is an empowering time. Next three weeks, that's what you got to do. You got to start making it you. Right. Putting yourself in, finding what what you really, really like, not just answering any ad, but being very, very picky in particular with stuff that you, a job that you really, really like, that you're really excited about. And then dig into it and research. I love like um, what is it? There's like uh, um, there's um, I couldn't see that, Bridget. There's um, no, don't worry about it. It's more for me. Okay. <laughs> there um. You know, like ZipRecruiter and Indeed, they give reviews of the company. You want to look there, especially during Mercury Retrograde. You want to look to see. It's ready. Oh, yeah. I got biscuits and gravy, dudes. I'm going soon. I'm going to get some biscuits and gravy. Um, but you really do want to look for um, the details that you could easily miss. If you're if you're being scared. And so for the next three weeks, especially, I don't want you to be scared. I want you to be bold. And I want you to know that you're kind of probably blessed for not getting a position in the next three weeks, even if you need it financially, it's actually going to protect you in the long run, right? Because the last thing you want to do is get a job that you feel stuck in and overburdened by, or that you lose in a couple of months because it wasn't what it was supposed to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? I'm just letting you know, girl, just let you know that's your card, sweetheart. CC, that's what came out for you. So you got the power, you got the strength. You got to, you got to remember it. You got to remember it. All right. We got members. We got new members. Let me shout out to Katie Anderson. God bless for becoming a new member. So what can I do to raise my vibration? The physical things that you can do, let, let's start with physical Katie. Um, the physical things you can do is declutter your space, like le legitimately make multiple runs to the goodwill, like get rid of your crap. A hundred percent, get rid of the old stuff, the old stuff that you promised yourself. Oh, I'll read this. And you never picked it up. Donate it to the library or throw it out. If it's a magazine, the stuff that you like, Oh, I'll wear this. But you know, when I get thinner, throw that out, you got to be where you are right now. You got to get rid of the declutter. That's number one. That'll help you raise your vibration. Number two, meditation and movement is going to help you raise your vibration. Now meditation is, can be movement because yoga is a form of meditation. But meditation will help you actually slow yourself down and get back to your source and ground your energy and movement as an exercise. You want to raise your vibration, get yourself out, take your dog for a walk, take yourself for a walk, do, do go to the beach, go swimming, do five minutes of jumping jacks, 
anytime you start feeling bad, your body, your muscles actually have the power to perk you up better than any drug you could ever experience. Because as soon as you start moving, you start to pump out, um, what adrenaline and endorphins. So you don't, you don't need to look beyond anything artificial. You just get back into your body. And number three, whatever makes you laugh. Laughter is another way to almost instantaneously clear the air and raise vibration. So whatever makes you laugh. And then if it's a content creator that makes you laugh, subscribe and make sure you watch their videos like once every day to make sure that you're laughing every day. If it's an old movie or whatever it is, like make sure that you're laughing every day because laughter will instantaneously raise your vibration. Um, and then grounding as in putting your feet in the sand or in the dirt. That'll help kind of reduce the inflammation in your body and de-stress you so that your blood can flow easier and you can actually like you can actually feel better so that you can move more. Um, those are the four or five things that 100%, if you do those things every day, you will raise your vibration. And if you do these things for 30 days straight, you will start to change because you will form a new habit and you will, you will feel like you're living in a different world. I'm so glad you remember Katrina. God bless asking again, just in case, will I get together with the man who is a Virgo? I have deep emotions for, will she get together with this man? This is somebody clearly you've known for a while because the six of cups comes out. He is definitely somebody that you can talk to. So you should, so you should, so you should, it's definitely somebody that you should tell your feelings to. It's time. It's time to take the leap of faith and wear your heart on the sleeve because there, there, there is potential for caring between the two of you at the very least. No more holding on to no more, no more carrying torches. It's time to be open about it. Um, welcome to courage. Remember courage members that you do get precedence. You do get priorities here. Um, but you don't get access to the extended readings. You don't get access to the members only chats <clears throat> and all that stuff. So if that's what you're looking for, upgrade and upgrade quickly. F Y I, cause we got a lot of courage members. And honestly, I'd love for all of you to instead be BWOB members. I'm just saying, should I change jobs or wait for a promotion? Thank you for becoming a member. Should I change jobs high or wait for it? You're welcome, Katie. Should I change jobs or wait for a promotion? There's anxiety here and disappointment with you from the past. And now there's just this energy of something underhanded going on or it not being right. King of Cups, especially to somebody who is quite caring. King of Swords is strategic or a decision. Honestly, with that kind of energy, I would make a decision to believe in myself and move forward. And move forward to another position. Because it doesn't say specifically. Yeah. So should she move? Yeah, it's new. It's a new position. That would that would be better. And you know what? You can start looking for a new position. I wouldn't quit your old position, your, your position now. I would start looking for the new position now. And when you get one that you like, it's like create a strategy. Feel good enough about yourself to start looking and take it seriously and actively look and then move on. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to sign off. I'm going to, I'm going to go get some, I'm going to go get some biscuits and gravy, biscuits and gravy, biscuits and gravy. I love you guys so much. Remember if you are a BWOB member or a harmony member, then you will be able to access the, um, the uh, members only live chat that we're having on Monday morning at 7.30 uh, a.m. And you can get ask multiple questions there. If you're a Courage member, you can upgrade now and still get access to it by Monday. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me on Saturday. And I appreciate all of you. And I will see you 
probably next week. Yeah, I'm going to try to get on as much as I can. Love you guys.